Yeah, okay, friends. Doc South here. And it's funny how you forget things, especially as you get older like me. Oh, my God. But, you know, I, I've been... I've been going to the eye doctor for a while. And and again, this is nothing against eye doctors. I think they're great helping people see and uh and and all that is fantastic. It's it's a good thing. Uh I I remember my poor uncle Don who um lost an eye through disease of some sort. And actually back in the day they didn't know what to do. The the best thing they could do is remove the eye. And uh, and and pray that whatever it was was bugging that bad eye doesn't get into the other. Well, Uncle Don spent most of his life, you know, being able, he could see maybe. Well, he could his his vision was very poor, very disjointed, and hard for him to read, and it 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 was rough on him. I think he came down with cataracts and stuff. It it was tough, and um, he. Um, you could tell it really kind of bugged him. Well, I and again, I'm not entirely sure what the disease was. They may may not have even known back in the day. We're talking the um, when that affliction came upon him. It it was I think the late 30s, early 40s. So yeah, and uh, he had it tough. Um, now in, in my case, um, now that I think about it, back in the uh, in the mid '60s, I was in a head-on collision and a bad one. I mean, whew. I, I think I've shown you pictures of uh, what that car. We were in a was it riding in a TR4, uh, <laughs> and we uh, we slid on black ice and hit a. I think it was a '55 or a '56 Oldsmobile head-on. No chance to break. We just hit, and man, all you know, parts were flying everywhere. <laughs> Luckily, I kept all my parts, and and I was pretty much the most hurt. I uh, buried my head actually into the dashboard, uh, pretty much. That may have kept me from breaking my neck. Now that I think about it, it probably supported me a little, but still, it hurt like the devil. And I broke a lot of bones in my face. And back then, I don't know if they quite had reconstructing people's uh, facial features exactly right. If nothing else, heck, I, I was a teenager. I was still growing. Yeah, I was like 19, something like that. It's, um, and my, I remember now that I think about it, because uh, they, they had me wearing a bit of a patch for a while. And here, I mean, uh, back then, but also now. And it, it kept coming back to me as I'm throwing the patch on. Where have I seen this before? Where have I seen this before? Well, <laughs> it, the, um, it, I, I had to wear a patch because uh, as a result of that wreck back in the day, I, I, if I looked at a pole, I would see a pole here. Now, let's say the pole was like that. Okay. Pretend my, yeah, pretend that's, pretend that's a pole. Okay. Uh, a light pole, let's say, or a telephone pole. Okay. Well, I would see a telephone pole here, and I would see one here. Yeah, or it may have been like this and like this. In other words, I would get a double vision, and it would it would really rock your world to the point where uh, to be able to see properly so I could drive and stuff, I had to wear like an eye patch over the bad eye, which was this one. And... That's what they've had me doing at the eye doctor, wearing a patch on this side. And it, it must be now that I'm older, maybe uh, somehow the affliction's coming back a little. I think I'm all right with it, but the the patch did actually uh, did help a bit. But you see what I mean? I don't think, I seem to remember the doctor saying it would be very hard for it, for the altered vision to correct itself back then. And uh, I, I don't even know if they can do it now, but that was, I think that was the case. And probably what's been uh, bugging my, my eye recently. I don't know. Maybe it's come back. Maybe it's always been there and it's just a little more noticeable now that I'm older and, and squint a bit more than I used to.
Hmm, I don't know. Interesting. Either way, I don't think there's much anyone can do about it. It's just going to be a, a drippy old eye that, um, you know, I, I guess I could uh, throw on a patch and walk around like a prospector or something, you know. Hey, Gene, what you doing? <laughs> a sidekick. Yeah, that can always be. I can hire out as a sidekick. And uh, other than that, what, what are you going to do? God love a duck. I'm, what, 78? <laughs> Crying out loud, Doc South. Grow up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it ain't like I'm out chasing babes and stuff. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm got a perfectly good wife who loves me for what I am. <laughs> Some of the time she tells me what she thinks I am, but other than that, yeah, yeah. And um, so I think, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to see, I, I think I'll, I'll continue with the eye drops. It does seem to help to throw eye drops in and keep them, keep the eye uh, lubricated a little better. It don't feel quite as itchy. Uh, so this, maybe we're on to, uh, on to a good thing. Let's hope. Feel fine. And I, I don't know, I feel like I can see all right to drive and to read and to write. So I, what the heck? I'll catch you later. Okay. Best thing you can do whenever possible, take a bad situation and find a few ways to improve it, to improve it and good for you. Right? Okay. I'll see you later. God bless.